scientists, I'm Monica from the California Science Center, and I'm standing here in front of our Wallace Animal Building, where all our big lab field trips take place. Follow me inside. Welcome to our big lab, where scientists like yourselves can drop water balloons, watermelons, and eggs off of our tower, and even launch tennis balls out of our tennis ball launcher. And here in the big lab, we use model boats like this one to teach you scientists about buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability for an object to float in water or air. When you place a boat in the water, the boat pushes against the water, causing the water to move. The weight of all that moved water must be equal to that of the boat, or the water won't be able to push the boat enough to keep it afloat. The force of the water pushing upwards on the boat is the buoyant force. By adding weight in the form of a sail, we cause the buoyancy to change. However, if we use other boat parts, we can better balance our boat. The five major parts of our model boats are the sail, which helps the boat move across the water, the mast, which holds the sail in place, the hull, which is used for all our storage, the keel, which is used for balance, and the rudder to control the direction of our boat. Think of these parts as you're designing your boat. The sails on our model boat are made out of a lightweight fabric. The hulls are made out of compressed styrofoam. The keels are made out of a hard plastic. Our rudders are also made out of a hard plastic. And sometimes we like to use larger models like this one. Notice how I have to move the sail back and forth to catch the wind. I have to do the same with the rudder in order to change my direction. Now check out this scientist making her own boat at home. I'm going to make a boat. This scientist is using foil for her hull, feathers for her sail, and a stick for her mast. What things can you find around your home to make your boat? Need a little bit more inspiration? Be sure to check our website. Hope you scientists are feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck at home science activities.